Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. My today's question is on electron transport chain and especially electron inhibitors and uncouplers of electron transport chain. So I will be covering today. So my question here says that you have been assigned a research project on effect of uncouplers of an electron transport chain. So we are talking about uncouplers of electron transport chain here. So the example of uncoupler that is given in the question is 2,4-dinitrophenol. So in the presence of 2,4-dinitrophenol and ADP, PI, NADH plus H plus and oxygen would, would have which one of the following effects on the rates of electron transport and ATP synthesis. So the choices are in rate of electron transport chain and rate of ATP synthesis choice A to choice E various options are there so let's see which answer is correct now first and foremost you need to know what is the effect of uncoupler on electron transport chain now the electron transport chain so we have four complexes there or complex 1 2 3 and 4 so out of these four complexes complex 1 complex 3 and complex 4 these are the ones which will pump protons from matrix side of mitochondria into the intermembrane space whenever sufficient gradient is built in the intermembrane space so the protons will start to move from intermembrane space back into the matrix through ATP synthase that is F0 subunit of ATP synthase it has got a power for elect, uh, protons and it will allow protons to move into the matrix during this process ATP synthase is going to phosphorylate ADP with PI to make ATPs so as the electron transport is going on so proton gradient is built and that helps in the phosphorylation process so that is why electron transport chain is also called as oxidative phosphorylation now what is the effect of 2,4 dinitrophenol or any other uncoupler here uncouplers what they do they will increase the flow of protons from intermembrane space into the matrix side without going through ATP synthase. So uncouplers basically they will create a pore in the inner mitochondrial membrane and allow the passage of protons from intermembrane space into the matrix. So because of this what happens so the gradient is not built properly. So the proton motive force is not created. So that is why the flow of protons through ATP synthase will also decrease. Now when the proton gradient is not uh, built properly so the electron transport chain will conduct itself in a faster way faster than before it means it's going to oxidize nadh plus h plus much faster than before and electron transport chain rate is going on at a higher rate and that means it is going to consume more oxygen in the presence of uncoupler because uncoupler is opening a pore in the inner mitochondrial membrane thereby decreasing the gradient in order to build the gradient electron transport chain runs faster it's going to oxidize NADH and FADH2 into their oxidized form and consume more oxygen and because of this what happens there is increase in the respiratory rate oxygen consumption will be increased so it means respiratory rate increases in the presence of uncoupler there is more oxidation of NADH plus H plus it means that's going to increase TCS cycle that is tricarboxylic acid cycle which will burn carbon di sorry acetyl CoA into carbon dioxide that leads to overall increase in basal metabolic rate and also now protons are leaking through uncoupler so it means proton motive force that is whatever the proton motive force that is present it is not the energy that is there in that is not captured so that will be released as heat and that heat contributes to increase in temperature that is seen with the uncouplers basically there are two kinds of uncouplers one is physiological uncoupler other is chemical uncoupler physiological uncoupler example is thermogenin we call it as ucp1 that is uncoupling protein one basically there are four five types or five or six types of uncoupler proteins depending on the tissues there are tissue specific uncoupler protein 
thermogenin is ucp1 which is present in brown adipose tissue now talking about chemical uncouplers we have 2,4 dinitrophenol that's what is given in the case stem here 2,4 dinitrochrysol pentachlorophenol these are the chemical uncouplers we have a t3 t4 thyroid hormones which are enhancing the uncoupling action mediated by thermogenin via norepinephrine sympathetic activity norepinephrine mediated action is going to increase thermogenin action and t3 t4 synergies it synergizes with norepinephrine mediated activation of thermogenin that's why whenever there is increase in t3 t4 levels so it means that will increase the respiratory rate body temperature increases basal metabolic rate increases so because there is increase in tca cycle now let's come to the choices so since uncoupler is not blocking electron transport chain in fact it is going to increase the rate of electron transport chain because the electron transport chain is working over time to try to build the gradient so that's why in the choice here so the rate of electron transport chain will be increased so you need to look at the choices which have got plus here so there are three choices choice a choice sorry choice b choice c and choice e all three of them have got plus so answer should be either b c and e now it all depends on what is the rate of atp synthesis with that now atp synthesis overall it will be decreased in the presence of uncoupler because the gradient is not created properly so the flow of protons through atp synthase is overall decreased because of this atp synthesis falls now choice b accordingly so here rate of synthesis of atp is negative here so that is fine uh, that looks the uh, it looks like it's a correct answer whereas option c where there's a b here in the sorry uh, rate of electron transport chain increased but it is also saying rate of atp synthesis also increased so that seems to be incorrect now option e rate of electron transport chain increased that's fine but ATP synthesis is zero. It is not zero, it is decreased. So it means option B seems to be correct answer here because uncouplers, they are going to increase the electron transport chain, but they will decrease overall synthesis of ATP. So option B is a correct answer. So for electron transport chain overall mechanism, so you can watch my video on electron transport chain and other some other videos related to electron transport chain you can find in my youtube channel so thanks for your time thanks for watching if you are interested or if you want uh, regular updates with my videos whenever i upload videos related to usmle based questions or biochemistry related concepts please do subscribe so that you get regular updates right in your email Take care, best wishes, I'll come up with another video some other time. Bye for now.